What's up everybody, welcome to another Python tutorial video. In this video, uh, I'm gonna be showing you guys the try except else, which is best thought of as the quote unquote except else, because if the except is not triggered, the else will run. You can think of the except else as if it is the if else, where except, um, well, well, where if is except and else is else. So here's a quick example. Uh, and again, kind of different from the while else and the for else in the sense that if except doesn't run, right? If except is never triggered, else will run. So there's absolutely no need for a break. And if you put a break in there, uh, you're going to get a syntax error. So, so there's that. So anyways, uh, let's go ahead and get started with try except else. So we're going to say try. And for now, let's just say x equals 3 plus 3. So it's going to try to do this. And if it can, cannot do it. Then except print. Well, that did. Oops. Well, that didn't work. Uh, well, that's not gonna work either. Well, that didn't work. Try except and then else. So else again. If exception. If the exception is not triggered, then it's gonna do this else statement. Else print um, runs only when there is no exception. Right. So if the try is successful, the else will run. Otherwise, because like except is, um, so it's kind of like a way that like if the try works, then we want to do the else statement. And if the try doesn't work, then we want to do the exception, of course, right? So it's just an easy way to do try and accept. Because otherwise you can do try x equals, let's say three plus three. And then you can put some code down here and you know continue and engage with whatever you were trying to do. but. Uh, for some situations, that actually isn't um, the best way to go about it because you'll get double code. And I'll actually be talking a little bit more about that uh, shortly. But first, I want to go ahead and run this. So let's say x equals 3 plus 3. Um, so let me uh, run this. Maybe. There we go. Um, so it comes up. Runs only when there is no exception. So there was no exception, right? But if we set x equals, let's say, x plus 3, right? x was never defined. The try will not work. We'll hit the exception. Well, that didn't work. And we will not run the else statement. So let's run this. And again, well, that didn't work. Um, so we knew that. But the else statement is there for some added functionality, right? So uh, in this scenario, the else statement is only triggered when the exception is not. Um, so let's say you're, you're, you actually are manipulating variables. So you might decide, well, hey, I want to try to do it this way. So try x equals x plus 3, except if that didn't work, then we would say x equals 3 plus 3, right? And then else, maybe we do something else uh, and continue running the script or, or do whatever we would do um, if there was no exception, for example. So now... Um, What if you wanted to maybe always run something after the try and accept, yet you want the outcome of like the try and accept to actually affect it, right? So it's going to run every time, but whether the try or accept is triggered, it maybe acts a little bit differently. So you could put the same code like under the try and the accept, or you could have like a variable at the top, you know, that's defined var, you know, x equals, or actually, I guess you could say x equals, you know, for starters, you could say zero, I guess. Um, and then you could have the try, you know, redefine the x or the exception, redefine the x, and you could continue with the code. Again, not the most Pythonic way and actually um, the incorrect way. Um, so basically what the, the question is, how would you get it to run every time? Um, either whether or not the try or accept is triggered and the else and all that, um, you can actually put um, all of the code underneath like a try, accept, and a finally statement. So no matter what, if the try is triggered, it does something. If the exception is triggered, it does something. And no matter which one is triggered, it will run the finally. Okay. So that's what we're going to be talking about in the next video. So try accept finally. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and the subscriptions. And until next time.